Welcome back to Middlefield Custom Sawmill. Today on the sawmill, we have a birch log. I have to cut it because if I leave it on the ground over winter, it won't be there in the spring. Birch rots really quick. So I've never sawed birch before. When this log came available, I grabbed it right away because I want to cut something new. So this is new. It's only about a, maybe a 12 inch log. Uh, eight foot long, so it's not a big one, but should be interesting to see what's inside it, because I have no idea. First look at birch, at least for me. Looks pretty white. And it looks like it's got dark heartwood. And you can see here, it's kind of soft, kind of stringy. Um, a lot like uh, cottonwood, the texture wise. And then down here at this end, got into some cool stuff already. First cut and we're already into it. All right, I'm just gonna roll it and square it up and saw some boards. This is what the birch boards look like. That'd be pretty bookended, wouldn't it? But that's uh, some of the heartwood there. That one's mostly sapwood. Birch is supposed to be good for turning. Um, I'm not sure what else they use it for. It's maybe furniture, but. I mean, there's some pretty colors in there, you know? There's pink and green and... So I kept this one pretty thick. That's about four and a quarter inches thick. I figured I could make turning blanks out of that. Just, you know, chop it up. And then I got a couple of good boards. Don't know what I'll do with them, but at least now I've sawn birch. Oh no, look at that. Birch dust. All right, so the next log on the mill here is a cherry log that this has been on the ground almost too long, but it's still solid. And as you can see, it's kind of a pickle. 
So that's like four inches underneath that part. So I'm not even going to try and cut a, I'm not going to try and level it or nothing. I'm going to try and get a cant from there down. And here when I come across, I should get that knot up on top and get a nice chunk of wood that maybe it'll work good on a lathe. I don't know. We'll see. There is one bad thing about this log. I can see right here. That looks like, well, it's hard, but it looks like ants. So I don't hold much hope for it. I mean, the ends look pretty solid. They don't look too bad. It's about 14 inch diameter, maybe 15. So we'll saw it. We'll see what we get out of it. Huh. Kind of looks like Uncle Roger's oysters. I think I'm going to come across at 15 and cut this off and then take another cut for the rest of that. Big chunk there. You know, this thing feels like it's doing the whole I don't want to cut again thing. Well, that was pretty flat. That's actually a nice chunk of cherry there. I get something out of that. I'll use this. Oh, yeah. Nice and flat. All the way down. Quick peek at the log. There's a lot of spalting in this. Here especially, I'm in the sapwood only right there. That's just garbage, but pretty spalting. Look at that. And then as you get into the solid cherry, it's nice inside. Enough staring at wood. Let's take another cut and then flip this up. In answer to your question, yes, that was a heavy cut uh, because this end, there's almost nothing here. There's not a lot of ants. We'll know when I take the next side off whether there's ants or not. So here's the wood. Here's two sides at once. So you can see that. That's got some uh, sapwood on the edges, but nice cherry in the middle. And then this side, there isn't even a knot on this side. That's some pretty stuff. I can get some good boards out of that. That almost looks like a knot.
I took that down to six inches there. And we still got bug holes. So this is gonna be kind of worthless. I don't know how deep they go. All right, so that is a six by eight inch cherry cant. Got some really pretty wood on it. I guess I'll have to go this way to show it to you. Uh, you can see the other piece there. That light is shining right in my f field of view. All right, and then right here, it turns bad. There's all these bug holes. I think you can see that. And then down here, it's nice again but it narrows out. Like, I don't know, maybe that's six inches wide there. You come all the way down to here before you get a straight edge, so. Yeah, not the best log, but it is some pretty wood. I mean, I don't know if you can see this right here, but you see all those little rays going out? That makes some pretty stuff. That makes some pretty stuff. We had a cherry log. We had that um, birch log. First time I ever cut birch. Never did that before. That was fun. Um, really soft wood. It's, just, it's like cottonwood. It's, it's kind of weird. But it was fun to cut. We'll see how it turns. Um, anyway, hope you had fun. Come back again. Thanks for watching. Hey, little buddy, what are you doing over here in the firewood pile? Come on, you're coming with me next to the fire. Inside where you can dry out. Who threw this in here? That's good stuff too. That's cutting boards. Somebody's an idiot. Oh, it was me.